I grew up in, uh, in Afghanistan, in Kabul, and I used to live in a, in a, on a big desert at the north of, of Kabul. I used to also uh, make a lot of toys with my little brother, and they were like uh, small objects, or, uh, small rolling objects, and uh, they were also blowing by the wind. And sometimes we kind of raced against each other, and these uh, small objects, they were blowing far too far, uh, and there were also a lot of landmines active on, this, uh, on that desert. It was quite dangerous, so we couldn't bring those toys back, and some kids did, and then they got hurt and stuff. So with that uh, idea in my head, I kind of grew up. Only in Afghanistan, there are uh, 10 million landmines on paper, so it's already registered, and that's only one-fourth of the country. And people even can't uh, use the soil of the, of the ground, so it's quite, uh, it's quite nasty, actually. So I made it 20 times bigger and stronger, and also heavier, it's also more sophisticated. So now it's also blown by the wind, so if it rolls, it's actually uh, sweeping landmines and clearing up uh, the deserts in Afghanistan. It, it's made from three parts. There's uh, black surfaces, and then there's a bamboo. And then you have the center. This one, it has uh, like uh, 170 legs. So every time it touches a landmine, it's losing a couple of them, or probably one, because the uh, landmine explosion is, uh, is this big. And then usually you lose only one leg. And now this one is also losing legs. And it has also a navigation uh, or a GPS uh, chip inside the ball. So it's, uh, it has also a website, so you can see on the website and you can track the ball where it was and where it went. And, and the ball also, uh, it lets a, a digital pad behind. So you can, uh, for example, uh, uh, select the area and then it shows you uh, how safe is the area, where are the market uh, pads, and you can print it out with the coordinates and you can walk around in that uh, area with, uh, with more safety, actually. Like the UNICEF and the other organizations are allowed to put it on location because they uh, know where the uh, landmines active and then uh, they put it on that location and if the wind is uh, blowing uh, this object it will roll and then uh, see what's going to happen.